Hey beauties, good afternoon to you. Beautiful people, let me tell you. This is a conversation, you know, there are conversations that in life we don't like to have because we don't want to be offensive and we don't want to seem ungrateful. But I did a video and I said, if my hands look ready now, it's one of them. Make a, make, not these, these are real gemstones, you know. Um, I'm going to buy one like a cheap one because the color, they look pretty. Pink is my favorite color, fuchsia. And it, boy, I may tell you, so there's something staying up my hand. It, sure, I don't like them things there now. Anyway, it will come off eventually. And uh, they don't, people are afraid because they can't. And that is what is crippling the society in a major way. People can't have candid and real conversations that are tough, that are difficult. It's going to be offensive. Being Something being offensive doesn't mean it's wrong. Jesus offended a number of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They didn't like truth and sincerity and just him being genuine. And uh, the reality is that... Um, I know that many people are ungrateful. You do have a lot of ungrateful people. But some of you people are wicked and and very unthoughtful. And you don't do to others as you would have people do unto you. Now, you see this whole thing about sending barrel with things. I hope I should I should be able to say gone are the days where people no longer send Oldbrook and the, the cheapest commodities that you know that Jamaicans do not use in terms of tin things like the tomato paste the you know them some of them because something they were Jamaicans we never know some of the tin things then, but you know Jamaicans don't have an affinity we don't grow up under them because something there and you use the coupons and you pack them up in the barrel because cho, it's really how you feel about them you feel that they don't subconsciously you feel that they really don't deserve better than that you really don't And you send all broke. You look for you go to the cheap stores and you buy the goodwill things and uh, not to say goodwill I hear don't have um new things, but you know when I say goodwill, you know what I'm talking not not sensible things. Or you go to a cheap, cheap store, you buy cheap clothing, cheap everything. And when you look at your own life, let me put it a different way. It's like going to a church and the pastor is driving an X6, a Hummer, a uh, um Lamborghini, he lives up Norbrook or Beverly Hills in the best house. He's a wealthy man. And people are, and a lot of the members are suffering financially and begging. That's a wicked pastor. That's wicked. He's not really even preaching. Even if he's preaching the, what the Bible is saying, he's not living the truth of God. He's not living the word of God. You, he can't be way up there, the people are down there. It can be way up there. Like, it's almost like how politicians treat in Jamaicans, for example. And some of you, you would know. I don't know how you feel at Jamaicans. And many of them don't even bother tell you. Some of them burn it and dash it away. They don't even tell you. They don't even give it away. Some of them don't even just dash it away. Fling it in the garbage truck. But they're not telling you the truth. Because you would not want that for yourselves. And the only way you can understand is somebody were to send you clothing, shoes, jewelry, of... of I mean, I don't even know what we call it. Of no worth. The Bible said God accepted Abel's offering and rejected Cain's offering because riffraff him come with. When you get into the etymology of it, the depth of it, and give him feel like give and when him feel like to give. That's a major part of his thing. And then he became so angry and jealous because God rejected him. Like he must say, oh dear God reject me. But he was so facetious. We've come with him, I mean, little Hiram, Skiram thing. Facetious. And God said, oh no, absolutely not. Huh? And many of you are like that. You wouldn't even say to yourselves, I know what bothers me in some situations. Some of you will have, like, maybe the female. You probably have boyfriends here. And you will buy, you'll go into the Gucci store. You go into the, you know why? Because you know you couldn't buy anything riffraff. I would reject it. You couldn't do it. Are you going to go to sort of Louis Vuitton? And some of you have your mother and father who have done their best or, you know, maybe fear. And you'd have never once do the same for them. Buy them the Louis Vuitton and the Gucci. And that and, and oftentimes those relationships with those men don't work out. They treat you bad sometimes or many times. And they go about them business. And you'd have never once say for your, your mother or your sibling. Let me, you know, let me treat them nice one time. Just as so I can buy that man the Louis Vuitton. Let me buy my mother the Louis Vuitton. And nobody not asking to even go as high and expensive as them. But I'm saying we are so hypocritical and un and biased, sorry. 
and treat our own with disdain. And sometimes in the long run, them same own you have to come back to. And them you have to come back to to help you in one form or another. It's. I. <sighs> Keep on the old brook. Keep the taste bad in something them. They don't want it in Jamaica as bad as things are. And then don't do it and then tell, turn around and tell the people that they're ungrateful. We reject it. Just as how God rejected Cain's offer, we reject it. We reject it. It's not right. Because if we were in your position, we would not do that to you. We would not do it. Many of us would not do that to you. We would buy you very good things. Treat you with respect. We might not be always, may not have the wherewithal at that present moment to buy the Louis Vuitton and the Gucci, but guarantee you're going to buy something very good. We're going to do our best. We're going to, when we're buying, we're going to be, we have that strong unction and conviction. Yes, that we're doing the right things. That's why some of your lives are not blessed. You know, it may look that way. Like a lot of money passed through your hand, but it's like a butter against the sun because you're very mean and stingy. And what you would do for yourself and for the man down there, you're not do for your own friend and family members who would not have treated you that very same way. And again, please understand that I know that you do have ungrateful people. I know that you do. We're not even talking on um, them. And sometimes they may give off that thing because of how they watch you treat them. We reject it. We reject your gifts. We don't like them. We don't want them riffraff things there. Eh? And it tastes bad things something them. We don't. So if you want to say we're ungrateful, do it. And many times they don't even ask you to send these things. In, in many instances. Who ask for bread and you give them a snake? You know, you go and read the book of Matthew. Matthew is it, It's either in the book of Matthew 5 or Matthew chapter 7. I don't remember which of them. I think it's one. I think it's Matthew chapter 5. So, which son asks his father for a fish and, gets, and the father gives him a snake? So, how much more will your father in heaven gives you? How much more? So, even if somebody reach out to you and say, boy, things tough, you know. I beg your help. You go and look for the worst of the worst to give them? Because that is how you look at them. You look at them based on the condition that they're in. I guarantee you, somebody, let's just say a problem for reach out to you and say, boy, I need a sponsorship. You know, can you guys sponsor us this and that? You're going to go to the best places. And because you know what, Oprah look down there because you, you value Oprah. You have her in high esteem. But the next person that is less than in terms of their socioeconomic status, less than as it regards their socioeconomic status, not less than as a human. Please note my words. Cho, other person eh, can give them the taste bad bolo, um, whatever, rice, cheap rice, cheap this, cheap, 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 cheap. And the cheapest many times becomes the dearest as Jamaicans said. The cheapest becomes the most expensive. We reject it. It is not right. Because you wouldn't do it for yourself. You would not do it for yourself. And, and as I said, sometimes we don't even ask you. You make that decision. So if you're making the decision, what you would get exactly for yourself, get it for others. I remember one time somebody did that, you know, like they went out and they went to some top brands or bought. And because I was there, they wanted to give me their used. I, I was so mad. I'd never took anything. Don't do it to me because I'm not doing it to people. I can tell you that categorically. Don't do it to me. I'm not doing it to people. I never took it. I have a friend who said somebody um, gave him some when you look at this stuff. Awful. They were very much disturbed. A lot of churches can tell you stories. That is why I prefer, they prefer to get the money. I don't blame them when they ask for money. Because if they ask you to give donations of clothes and shoes, if you ever see sometimes what people bring, so I better them get the money and buy it themselves and give out to the people. If you ever see it, disrespectful, you're disrespectful. Me glad that there was that sore with Gain and neighbor. Thank you, God, for sure. So God rejected it. You don't follow the part B of that first commandment. Love your neighbor. Treat your neighbor the very same way you treat yourselves. You understand? So you could have think so we, we were ungrateful to come more this. So but that's fine. You At least you will know not to come and give because we were going to reject you. We're not going to keep it. We're not. Don't do it. That's disrespectful. Because we are not doing it to you. Many of us are not doing it to you. A friend of mine showed me that a, a friend of his, when he's going abroad and coming back and bring him all of the top brands. And this is an ordinary kind of man. I'm going have... You know, dry dude in Mbati, as them would say. And under, you know, say I don't do that the word. But, um, yeah. Bring him, him say very good things. When I look at sometimes, I say, my friend, he's sharp, so. Respect the man. Respect his key. We know, we reject it. We hear we reject them gifts. No bother with it. We don't want them. No bother with it. 
Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this message.